Good evening, you guys. Sorry, the lighting is kind of weird. I'm sitting next to a lamp, <laughs> so um, I'm just about ready to go to bed. And um, I felt kind of warm and cozy, you know, every night I do my prayers and my um, rehearsal with my journal with God. And I today is a very honorable day. I didn't even realize it was... Um, a holiday today but of all days I on a holiday I ended up finishing filling out this journal and I'm gonna start my new one uh, tomorrow I'm just gonna continue as a continuation so I filled it out for three months January February and almost the entire March worth of uh, journaling and notes and stuff in my talks with God and I wanted to share with you I, uh, you know once a month you guys can check out my other two. It's kind of like a series, like what God spoke to me, I guess, in my journal in time with God, which um, I guess I can start backwards and then move onward. Um, today he told me stay. I didn't really know what that meant, what that implied, but stay. So again, maybe it's something that you need to hear in this moment in time. So maybe you need to stay where you are. Maybe you need to stay put and not make so many um, plans and decisions. And today I just said, I praise you, Almighty Father in Heaven. You've done so much for me. And this morning, actually, again, it's kind of funny. I didn't even know it was a holiday. I never do this. I literally never do this. But like, I, I, I was like listening to like two hours worth of like, I forgot what her name is some preacher lady oh my god she was like pray like, like i still hear her voice in my head like all day <laughs> like and it just feels really good to you know start your day off right i was even listening to her through the noon and just yes and just getting the holy spirit in my soul i just feeling him just yes i just felt much better afterwards um and then I, this was a nice reminder for me because I've said it before, but sometimes I feel like I am um, having so much to do in one day that I have to rush to get everything done. So I say I pace myself and eventually get everything done in Jesus' name. So, um, you know, eventually everything gets done. In worst case, you can always put it off for another day. I'm not that type of person. I like to finish everything I have to do today, which is probably why I'm always tired, but I'm an overachiever. <laughs> and then I wrote, I am protected by my father, God. So I just, and I even like did like a prayer protection prayer today for anyone watching my videos as well. Um, and then I wrote, you will, and this can indicate for you as well, not just me, but you will do amazing things 10 years and even five years from now. And it's a nice reminder because it's like, we forget like 10 years ago, I was a miserable high school student. And it's hard to imagine like how much my life has changed. I, I literally live halfway across the country and have my own place and you know, I'm all grown up and I've learned so much more beyond what I thought I would have known and gotten through and done so many other things that it's like that, like the incredible amount of changes happened in 10 years. And even in five years, it's like, wow, I still like live in a totally different town went from an apartment to a house, like, changed my education so much. It's, just, it's like, so much has changed. And I've been in and out of relationships. And like, even in five years, and it's like hard for your mind to imagine and conceive the changes you can make for yourself in that shorter period of time, right? Uh, which it is a short period of time, five years is like nothing, but so much happens in that time. It's like, wow, imagine 10 years. So yeah, you can do so much and people have a hard time conceiving that. And you just have to like see it in your eye 
it's hard to explain but like what you can do in that time right and again it's very hard to conceive and then it wrote father god will work on my pain and suffering you know emotional healing and anything i may be dealing with anything i was going through at any moment in time you know it, it's do, i'm doing a lot of that work and maybe that's why sometimes i, I look tired because it's like i i have so many priorities to do during the day and on top of that i'm doing that work and it's like sometimes you even feel weak like sometimes you don't even have the strength to like do some daily tasks because you're doing so much of that stuff and that cleansing and that clearing out of stuff that like you're strengthening and becoming a new right like you have to get out the old baggage and the skeletons and all that stuff you've been holding on to for years right and then he said you've done well don't be hard on yourself you've said that before and then i just wrote praise god praise jesus so that was actually like for the first time i read you directly all my notes for one day so that was just today alone um yeah and something really bothered me yesterday um, so this is what he said. He said, don't allow any ignorance to face you. Their ignorant minds are not you or real. Because what's real is him. Like, you know, ignorant thoughts are not real. They're not forever. They're just a construct. Thoughts in general are just constructs. They're not real. Even if they're not ignorant. It's all just lessons on peace and love. Be peace and love and all else will fade away <laughs> into the oblivion. So I really liked that recommendation be peace and love like if you think about it, if you walk into a hateful situation a negative situation with anyone as long as you present yourself with peace and love you don't even get hate like all else fades away like they don't even know what to hate you for like you know um, let's see that's kind of private here right so this is another thing he said like sometimes i feel like you know, I still feel guilt um, for even taking time off for myself sometimes or just to sit down and watch a silly YouTube video. And he said, look at everything as time gone by. Don't look at it as time spent, like money spent or wasted, like thrown in the bin. Time doesn't stop for anyone, so it just goes by. Enjoy the ride. So that was some good advice. And then I noticed, like, some things don't excite me as they used to, like, just some things don't excite me as they used to. And he said, you are shifting and evolving, all things won't excite you anymore. So I was like, oh, no wonder. Um, and then he said, trust in the process. So that was incredible. So again, anything you resonate with um this is also the message for you i'm called to read this for a reason so i'll go a little longer i, I don't think i'm too comfortable i don't even like how i look like my wrinkly look shirt like it's not even wrinkly but in this lighting it looks wrinkly like it's, <laughs> this is, um i wrote don't think about your past okay i mean common knowledge but sometimes you need a reminder um focus on what is real and what counts um, right, and then I wrote this. This is quite vulnerable. I, I, I don't know if I want to share. Maybe I won't. But I think a lot of you can relate as well. Because I, I, I did have a, a lot of issues with jealousy for so long. Sometimes when I see other success, I doubt myself. But I have to know that I am in fact good enough, you know. And I didn't realize it. And it took a while for me to realize that it was actually me doubting myself like like that i'm good enough to to get there as well right because i i've done it before i can do it again right but i don't know somewhere along the way i just got really resentful i guess is the right word and i don't know why like i i don't necessarily um know where that came from or why those feelings were implanted in me right um through other experiences as well. And then I wrote, I won't put my talents, abilities, and gifts down anymore. I need to elevate and raise myself higher. But, you know, not in a, like a prideful state, not in an arrogant way. 
you know, that's like a confidence boost that you need sometimes, right? And I did suffer with a lot of self-esteem issues, so maybe this helps some of you as well. And, and that can be from like, you know, just like life in general sometimes gets you down and it's like you have to do so like much work to just bring yourself up because you are, I'm naturally not like that. Like I can't get that excited easily. I'm very like grounded earth sign type of person. So, like, it takes effort. Like, even if I'm at the amusement park, it will take effort to get me, like, really, like, passionate, excited, like a fire sign, for example. It just is not in my vibration, right? So, with that energy is a contradiction, though. Although we are very grounded and peaceful, we can be looked at as depressing, like the depressing friend, the depressed friend, no fun, party pooper. Like, we're we're like the, the moms that are, like, the responsible ones. We're the driver, we're taking care of our friends who drank too much and we have to drive them home, right? Like, but we're no fun at the same time. And, you know, it has its downsides. And also we can, now I'm talking about a whole nother subject, but, you know, maybe this resonates with you as well and makes sense of you and your connectivity with others. Um, that's the whole point of this video. But, um, like, being in that state all the time, it can get easy to get actually depressed, right? And, and to actually put yourself down. So I constantly need to like, even every day, like, praise God, like remind myself, like, see, even saying that took a lot of effort. So like, I, I've been functioning like this for so long that it's like, I had no idea there's a whole other world out there. People like, just like always like, whoo, you know, and it comes natural to some people, right? They're always like in a positive state and I'm not. So, you know, it, it takes work. And I, I've been in that place before, but that was seven, eight years ago. Like, I was a lot younger. I had a lot more energy. I was skinnier. I was, like, <sighs> young, bon bon, you know, like, it, it takes work. And especially, I, I've been through so much darkness over the years after that, that, like, it takes more work. And, you know, you have a sense of maturity now and understanding of how the world actually is. You know, I was like immature then. So I didn't really know. I thought, oh, this is easy. You know, like, I, why didn't people do this before? And, you know, God bless my old self as well. But um, you can't be too excited either, right? If it, it just doesn't come naturally, you can't force it, right? You have to work with your tools. So anyway, I could go on, on to those topics in another vlog, but I just wanted maybe you get to know about me more and about yourself through me, I guess. So know thyself is very important. Hmm. Oh, and it's funny. I, I actually wrote after this, get to know yourself, not others. So it kind of helps with the, the whole, like, when you know yourself, like who you are in Jesus name, like it doesn't bother you what someone's doing. It doesn't bother you what their opinion of you is, you know? And then I wrote, I was the wolf. And this uh, this I've known before, and, and it took meditation to reflect on this. I was the wolf that carved the path for others, and I simply needed a break to let others through and allow myself rest. And so I, I felt like that was a lot with my YouTube experiences, um, starting my ASMR journey, and, um, you know, really getting recognition and... I guess praise. <laughs> I don't deserve praise. God does. But um, word out there about ASMR along with some other people. And, um, you know, in the early days of YouTube, even like back in child, I've, I've been around a while. The reply girl days, like, <laughs> um, I still know <laughs> um, a, a couple people who used to do those. And um, yeah, like, I mean, Anyway, I won't go into it, uh, but um, I, I felt like at the time, like, maybe I didn't feel like I was getting what I deserved or the recognition I deserved for what I did, and others were getting praised, but then I, I have to realize, like, oh, you know, someone has to carve the path, but you don't necessarily get the praise God does, right? And they don't either, like, then they end up going past you on the path and carving paths for others, and then they get stuck and lost and trapped and, they're all, and they end up in a situation like me and they quit and it's like, you know, so it, it's like, you have to stop thinking about yourself as well either. It, it's kind of funny, like you have to know yourself, but you you got to stop thinking about just yourself because that makes you so miserable because like when you put others' lives before yours, it's not always good either, but like when you're feeling unhappy, it's good to put others in mind at least and help them in some way so 
that like makes you aware of like what you have and, I, and that's why i said like time and time again like people with like a bunch of stuff are really just unhappy and a lot of money just like they're really not that happy i mean I, i've met many people i've spoken with many people who have tons and tons and, and they're just it's such a misalignment at the end of the day and it's like people are so focused on that that they lose sight of themselves right so and they're so busy working on that that it's just like who are they so it's really sad, but you know, it's it takes a lot of work and it takes years of peeling back. And I didn't even know half this stuff when I was going through it. And I'm just like now like looking back and just like reflecting and healing those old things through this journaling. So I do always recommend journaling. Um, all right. Um, so apparently when you're open and comfortable to change, it helps you build and develop habits. So that's what he told me. I was like, oh, okay. I guess that makes sense because when you're, you, you don't have to be okay with it. You can be uncomfortable, but if you're like accepting and open to change, then you can develop and build habits because habits take work. I mean, you know, they really do. I mean, they say it takes eight weeks uh, to build a habit. Some people say four, some people argue 12 weeks. Um, it takes work and consistency. Some people say 150 days. Um, I might have to do, agree with the 150 days, because you know sometimes you you're you, it's easy to get distracted. You're off going doing the dishes, and you have to go take the dog outside, and you almost forget to journal and spend your time with the Lord. You know, first thing in the morning. That's very important. You know, so. But yeah, that was something I didn't know. Like, wow, like you can actually build and develop habits better when you're open and comfortable to change. That was something that just came to me. Um, so I always recommend the crystals. At the end of the day, people are like, oh, why, why do you use crystals? And you talk to God. Um, okay, well, they're creations of the earth. So, <laughs> um, and God, you know, like, which is the earth, right? So like he created it so i'm like you know i understand where people are coming from like why do you use tarot and sage well he made it so <laughs> you know um and it still works you know um so but i always recommend them I, I wrote i feel i've healed my heart in some ways you know my connection to others brought forth more love and past relationships are healed um so i stopped using them for a while because I, I was told to stop using them just for a while just to give it a rest because you know you when you do it too much it's like oh, you don't even know what's going on and you feel weird um but i wrote those things down because i felt those things okay so um let's continue i guess i don't know should i stop yeah i'll stop because this is when the stones and i was going into detail about the stones and that could be other videos so thank you for joining me guys that was just like the last four days alone and that wasn't even everything in the journal so it just goes in depth to how much like analysis and it i don't just write things down and start it's just like it has to come to me you have to really like talk back and forth with him and like meditate and reflect and self-analyze like all the things that um come through in your mind so yeah wow i can't believe i already got through that one journal i mean it's been three months of doing this now and it's really changed things for me although it has definitely made life more challenging, which I like because it's like, wow, I'm actually like doing the work now. You know, like my last three months would have probably been way more easier and boring um, and less productive had I not done this. And so to take like an hour out of my day to do this was really worth it. It adds up. I mean, that's like I probably spent 90 hours by now doing this. Um, and I gotta say, it's really beneficial. And I, I don't just even spend that time, you know, during the morning or the evening. It's just like also during the day sometimes and I get thoughts and I, I write them in the back of the journal. Oh yeah, there was another entry actually. I must have skipped it over. Right. In response to hatred and negativity, I say to thee, at least my father in heaven loves me for whomever I am. Amen. Thank you for loving me, Lord, even if no one else will. The journey is but a lonely one, but I shall thrive in your faithful name. I shall hear the spoken word of um, your messages. So I wrote that just from the heart. 
So just an example of what you can do and just like reading back and um, I will definitely read back on this uh, entire journal very soon when I feel um, that it is time. I'm definitely going to before I, I start another journal because I just want to like give it like its own specialness because it, it really is meaning a lot that I actually filled this whole thing out and uh, starting anew tomorrow. So um, yeah, this doesn't stop when you're on vacation. It doesn't stop. When you have somewhere to go, it doesn't stop. You take it with you and, you know, it, it's like a very a guided thing. I think I'll continue doing this um, for the next nine months of the year, you know, and continue years on. Um, this is just my encounter and my experiences so far. I feel more connected, less lonely. Uh, I don't even think I felt an ounce of loneliness, to be honest, because when you're so busy talking to um, God, that you you just feel like there's always someone present. And it's like, why, why would you feel lonely, you know, when there, there's always someone present within you, right? That's just my personal experience with journaling. Um, but thank you guys so much. Um, you know, even if you don't communicate with any higher up power, journaling is healthy in general. You know, I always recommend it. I, I don't like to push my thoughts or beliefs out there on anyone. I just, you know, I'm very, I'm still more spiritual, if anything. I don't consider myself a part of any group or organization at all, at all, I, at all. You know, this is just uh, uh, still even the beginning of my journey, even though I've been doing this stuff for overall a very long time. It still feels like the beginning because there's something you constantly are realizing and learning about yourself and through other people and that's all it is your connection here your awareness being brought here is just you amongst others and who they are within you really i mean it's great so thank you guys so much uh, i hope this gave you whatever you needed the message today i uh, had quite a lot to do today so sorry i'm getting this out late i'm trying to get it out before midnight as every day all right take care guys Bye bye